Are you struggling to authenticate with SSH agent during your GitLab CI builds using an Alpine image? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle this issue and find a one-liner solution that works. I totally get it. Trying to get your CI pipeline to work seamlessly can be a real headache, especially when authentication issues pop up. Many users face similar challenges and it can feel like you're hitting a brick wall. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, how can I authenticate with SSH agent in an Alpine image during a GitLab CI build? They provided a command from the GitLab documentation that works in Bash, but they're looking for an equivalent one-liner in SH. Sound familiar? Let's dive in. So what's the issue here? The command they tried, which works in Bash, doesn't seem to translate well to ESH in Alpine. This can happen due to differences in how these shells handle certain commands and syntax. Let's break it down and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can save you time and frustration in your CI builds. To authenticate with SSH agent in an Alpine Linux environment, the user can use a one-liner that utilizes process substitution. This is similar to the bash command, but adapted for Alpine's shell. First, the user should ensure that the SSH agent is running. This can be done by executing the command SSH agent in the terminal. Next, the user can add their SSH private key to the agent. The one-liner we discussed earlier will accomplish this. Make sure to replace the placeholder with the actual environment variable. If the user encounters any issues, they should check that the SSH private key is correctly set in the environment variable. It should not be empty or incorrectly formatted. Finally, the user can confirm that the key has been added successfully by running the command ssh add l, which lists the identities added to the agent. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of SSH was released in 1995? It has come a long way since then, making secure connections easier for developers everywhere. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests using the command echo followed by your SSH private key and piping it to SSH add. This method is straightforward and should work effectively. Here's that quick tip I promised. Always ensure your environment variables are set correctly before running your CI jobs. This can save you from a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to authenticate with SSH agent in your Alpine image during GitLab CI builds. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks, and remember to check out our other videos for more insights.